obviously, uh, first hockey East win uh, points on, at stake here. So we wanted to respond from last weekend, build off of last weekend. Um, I thought we made some strides tonight. Um, we'll make some some adjustments for tomorrow because we know tomorrow's game is going to uh, be even harder. What do you think is the key to how you guys responded after the Well, I liked, um, I should say, we liked our first period. Um, you know, they scored or early, and I, I still liked how we played in the first period. We didn't get a goal, so, you know, you're down going into the second. But, uh, you know, we just talked about sticking to it, being a little bit more. Um, just a little more reattack on pucks, and I and I thought we did that more in the second period, where we just we stayed on the puck. We were more relentless. Um, you know, something we talk about with our group all the time is just that hard, heavy skill, um, and just staying in every fight and reattacking pucks. And I thought we did that in the um, in the second. We wanted to be a four check team tonight, and you know, I, I thought the second really got us going. Yeah, the penalties didn't help because um, they throw us off our rhythm. They throw us off. Um, they give the other team momentum. Um, so the penalties definitely hurt there. And, and, you know, whenever you're up, as much as you talk about it, and that's something we said after the game in the locker room, we, you know, you got to learn how to close games out. Um, you know, it, it wasn't a case where I thought we were giving up a ton of great A's, but they, they did have some attack zone, uh, attack time, I should say. and. You know, then they get the power play goal, and you know we're a little on our heels after playing really well in the games three two. So it, it's something; it's a learning experience. We wanted to get back to what we were doing in the second period. Um, you know, trying to play in their zone, make them defend, uh, make them defend tired. Uh, so that's a little bit of a learning thing for us. But um, ultimately, you know, I, I thought I thought our penalty kill made a big step tonight. I know we gave up a goal, but I thought our our kill was much better uh, tonight. Um, just more of that 60 minute. Um, obviously, I, I liked. I keep saying I. We we like the the effort tonight. Um, now it's just you know get a shift after shift, trying to you know focus on the first 20, come in, build on that, and then put together a full 60 minutes. That's that's the goal. Well, they're they're not typical fourth liners. Um, there's a lot of a lot of skill on that line, um, but what they do have is they have a fourth line mentality right now with the skill. Um, they're trying to earn everything that they get. Um, their their hard skill is what they are, and, and it's paying off because they're playing really really well right now. How do it feel to get your uh, first goal in the NCAA? Uh, good. Obviously, it's uh, it's good to get it off my chest, but it's a good win. Uh, I felt pretty good. I wasn't really too happy with the way I played against LIU, and uh, it was a great play by Gunner and Jack there. Uh, we didn't have a great first period, and I thought we started to play a little bit better in the second, and uh, Jack made an unbelievable play there, and I just kind of buried an open net, so I felt good. What were, some, what were some of the things that Coach was telling you guys after the first period? Uh, I think just to play more in the ozone, play below the dots. Uh, we were trying to play a little bit too much in, like near the blue line, turn the puck over there, and uh, I think you saw it once we started to kind of play to our identity and play below the, below the dots, uh, we started to break them down a little bit, and. Uh, I didn't really think their D uh, wanted the puck on their stick too much, so we forced them to turn the puck over, and um, good things started to happen. Sam, you've obviously got a lot of experience playing with Gunner. Mm -hmm. um, to have him out there, especially with, you mentioned you weren't happy with how you played last game, how much of a boost is that for you going into a new game? Yeah, I mean, obviously, he said me and Gunner have played together since uh, I think we were like 15 or 14 or 15 years old, so uh, we kind of know where each other are going to be on the ice. and. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's always a little bit of confidence booster playing with him because, I mean, obviously he's a great player and um, he makes it easy for me out there. So it's been awesome. Sam, how do you see the dynamic role that you guys like improving in the last game? I don't think that we had to really do too much different, um, like, compared to how we play. I mean, we just kind of, we weren't really moving our feet too much. And uh, if we just play the way, the way we can, I think good things will start to happen. And it uh, kind of started tonight, but I think we still have a lot better. Yeah, um, I think we kind of we took another step tonight. Uh, second period was huge for us. Uh, we played the right way, and I think that's just a new standard for our team. Jack, you 
you feel a little more comfortable on the ice now that you scored? Uh, I don't know if it's that I scored, but I think just every shift, um, you get a little more confident, kind of get used to it, more comfortable to speed. And Jack, with the guys are out there with uh, Chupani and Mellis, it feels like you guys are really buzzing every time you get that. How has it been playing for them this first season? Yeah, uh, those two are unreal. Um, D-Mel's, D-Mel's a great player, and Chups can, can find you anywhere. You can shoot from anywhere, so it's it's been easy playing with them. To build off that, I think they, they've probably been our best line so far, and Maybe they don't get uh, the notoriety as some other guys, but I mean, every time they're on the ice, they seem to make something happen, so uh, good for them.